So this poor little pear, he's been in that pot for about, that's a gooseberry in the bottom. Uh, he's been in that pot for about three years, I reckon, and he's never really done anything. So what we might do is we'll, and Rosie suggested it, and it's a clever idea, we'll pull him out of this pot and I'll shove him in one of the big grey bags up in the, um, in the building site. So that'll be today's adventure. Let's move a pair. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. Coming over to get the shovel to slide down beside the pair and see if I can ease him out. And I walked past the chicken coop and I thought, oh, I better have a look. Not that I'm distractible or anything, but now I've got to take the eggs in. <laughs> and then I'll come back and dig, get the shovel. Okay, so I've half filled a big grow bag, a 100 litre grow bag. Um, up the top, that's that narrow edge of the building site. Well, this will be grow bag number six. Those two are actually in the ground. They've never really done very much either. They've been there about three years. One's an acerola cherry. Never seen a cherry on it. I can't even remember which which is which now. They look fairly similar. Anyway, so the grow bag's prepped. Let's get that pair. A moment of forward thinking for me. I kept one of the empty bags, soil bags. Cut it in half. I'll use that to put the pair in. The dirt in there. So when I go through the house, I won't make a hell of a mess and Rosie won't scream at me. Oh, I'm learning, see? Only took me 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly in there, let me put it that way. I've run the shovel down three edges. I dare not try and prise too much because I'll just smash this big pot. So I've done the best I can and I'm going to attempt to pull him out. If worse comes to worse, I'll lay him over on his side and try that way with me feet up against the edge. Don't like Rosie's gooseberries chance much, but anyway, it is what it oh, is. No. I tried pulling on it, it ain't going nowhere, so we'll be tipping that fella over. Unfortunately, it's a terrible day. I'm half tempted, I might leave it till it's finer because the ground's all bloody wet. You can see my wet footprints there. I really don't want to get wet and cold and crook and God knows what, so I think I'll just push it all back together and I'll wait for a, sunny day, a sunnier day. Oh, the saga of the pears. Three was cactus in about the first 10 seconds. <laughs> but uh, I did end up next. This is a couple of days later, in fact, before. And even then, it's still a bit damp. But anyway, I did end up getting him out. I can see why it was so difficult. And I had to lie it on its side. I would never have done it. The original plan with that little plastic bag was never going to cut the mustard. Holy mackerel, it's big and it's heavy. Um, and the plant's not that big. Anyway, um, I'll have to dig a bit of dirt back out of that grow bag too, bloody hell. Um, so I laid this on a trolley and take it around the front. I actually had to take most of the dirt off the root ball. Take all the, that's a construction site up the road, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, um, take all the dirt out of there. Uh, otherwise you just wouldn't fit even in this big 100 litre grow bag. So we'll fill her back up now. There you go, it's in. Jeez, it took some potting mix and some work, but it's in. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, it's another grow bag up here, and a plant moved to where it might do some good because it will actually get reasonable sun here. So that's great. Let's hope come spring we get some pears. Pear is actually a one specifically for the subtropics. Um, it's called a sunshine. And it's grafted with a Nashi pear. There you go. Grafted tropical Nashi sun shoe. So it only needs, um, so it's self pollinating, so I only needed one, which is great. And you can see the map where they're saying you should be able to grow it, so hopefully it'll do better now it's out the front, eh?